we're going to create a scene where we're doing a virtual spotlight over a forest and we're going to use a motion tweened mask to do that. So I have three layers set up in Flash at the moment. The one that's right down the bottom will be the layer which is the most frontward layer. That's the layer that you'll see the most of. So it's a dark picture of the woods. The next layer up is what you will see behind the mask or in the spotlight. So it's much brighter because it will be lit up and there's some animals that we're going to spotlight for. The third layer is simply an oval shape which will be our spotlight. So what we're going to do now is create a mask on our spotlight. Right click and choose mask. And straight away you can see the sort of effect that you're going to have. Wherever the spotlight is, it's going to get lighter. So now we're going to turn this into a motion tween. So I'll make this be about 40 frames long by default by changing the number down the bottom. And now I'm going to unlock the spotlight layer, which got locked when you made the mask. Right click on the spotlight, create motion tween. So now I need to set the locations from a motion tween. So very basically I'll have my path look like that. Line up the other two layers so they're the same length by inserting frames onto each of those layers. And have a look and see what we have. So you can see that when it comes across the rabbit, you can see the rabbit. We'll need to slow that down too. So we'll slow that down with the frames per second. We'll change it to 15. And we'll start moving our motion path around so that uh, we can see more of the rabbits. So to do that, we'll go to our spotlight layer and you can see our motion path. I'll go to frame one and I'll move the motion path off the screen so that we'll have a smoother transition. Now uh, at about frame 5 we'll have it moving down so that it'll hit this first rabbit. At let's say move along, this one's already going to hit the rabbit so we'll go to 25 and we'll go and find this dude down here. Um, so now we need to go back to 20 where we didn't actually set a mark point and drag up our line. Okay, so we're going to hit each of the four rabbits. At the end, we're going to drag the spotlight off the screen again. Okay, so if we have a look at our result. We're going spotlighting for rabbits.